हे गाइस वेलकम बैक लेट अस सॉल्व क्वेश्चन सिक्स फ्रॉम द क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स ऑफ गोल्डस्टीन चैप्टर वन सो द क्वेश्चन गोज लाइक अ पार्टिकल मूव्स इन अ प्लेन अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ गिवन फोर्स राइट वेयर आर इज द डिस्टेंस ऑफ दैट पार्टिकल सो दिस इज लाइक द गिवन फोर्स एंड आर इज अ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम पार्टिकल टू सेंटर ऑफ फोर्स नाउ फाइंड द जनरलाइज पोटेंशियल दैट विल रिजल्ट इन सच काइंड ऑफ फोर्स एंड फ्रॉम दैट लाइक रेंज इन द मोशन इन अ प्लेन and from that lagrange and for the motion in the plane all right now to proceed with this first uh, what we'll do we'll separate the terms for the forces that we have written let's just directly jump to the solution part we'll just separate all the terms so r dot square upon c square by r square plus 2 r double dot upon c square r so that's the central force that we are given uh, i must not say uh, central force over here that's just the force that we are given now for velocity dependent potential what we know is f equals to minus du by dr plus d by dt du by dr dot so uh, this equation uh, i must say that you must refer to the text of uh, goldstein to know how this particular equation is derived so let me call this as equation 2 and uh, uh, one thing over here uh, i must say that we need a, a bit of a guess work to work work out this particular problem because uh, there there might be a certain general way on how to approach such kind of problems but at the moment i just know how to work out with a guess okay so first we'll focus on the uh, time derivative terms so so if we want this okay what i have missed is the double dot so if we want this r double dot then we have to take the time with derivative of r dot okay so so let's pick a term 2 r dot c square r okay so we have picked up a term for r dot now let's do the time derivative of that term to r dot c square r so that gives us minus 2 r dot square upon c square r square plus 2 r dot sorry r double dot upon c square r okay so this is my equation 3 uh you you can see that uh, slowly the pieces will start to fall like like the way we want it because it's kind of a guess as i have already said and uh, we have say d by dr dot r dot square upon c square r that gives me 2r dot c square r all right and that is my equation 4 so in the potential we are guessing uh, that the term let's get the term r dot square upon c square r and the first term we will get from this or uh, d by dr minus of 1 by r so that's 1 by r square so that's my equation 5 now i'll combine the equation 3 and 5 and 4 uh just in a way that i get my u as 1 by r plus r dot square upon c square r so if you see uh like if you go on to put my u which is given by let's say equation 6 
okay let me also highlight this equation okay so if i put this equation put in two that's over here so if i put all of whatever there is in term u over here i will get nothing but this f that's lying over here all right now we'll move on to find the lagrangian for the same okay now the lagrangian l will be t minus u and uh, in plane in planar motion uh, this is something we can recall from our uh, previous studies so in plane my kinetic energy is nothing but half m r dot square plus r dot r theta dot whole square okay and then my lagrangian becomes half m r dot square plus r theta dot whole square minus 1 by r 1 plus r dot square c square all right so that's the whole equation that we have with us that that's the lagrangian that we need at the end i hope this question is clear thank you for watching the video